So, I was starting to say things about people I know about my life. So, I don't know where I ended up or what kind of stories I ended up, but I know I, um, I, um, gosh, I had something in mind. Polly just knocked at the door and then I forgot what I was going to say. So, let me think a minute. I know what I was going to say. I went to an all girls high school and I was very outgoing. Not really. I was shy. No, I think I was shy like in the beginning, like when I was young. Yeah, you know, when I was young in like grade school, elementary school, I didn't really talk. They actually thought I, I couldn't talk. But once I got into high school, I kind of blossomed. And um, I went to an all girls school. I don't know how my mom afforded it because we were very poor. But I had to help work like after school. I had, I don't know, whenever I'm in here, I looked there. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's just a wall. Sorry. But anyhow, I had to help clean and whatever. So I could go there. But anyhow, I went to all girls high school. And um, the highlight of the day for me was not French class. <laughs> so we had this um, nun. It was a Catholic school. And she always, the minute came in the room, we had to say, brain fart. <laughs> no, we didn't say that. Bonjour. Is it hello? I can't remember now. And then when you say goodbye, and then as soon as we get in class, we're all there, we had to say this prayer, which I knew when we had our 10-year high school reunion, I knew that prayer, and she was there, and I still recited I don't know how I knew it. I don't know it now, but I did. So it made her day. But anyhow, so the highlight of my day was the days that I could go on the bus, which, um, because we had to go where I lived, we had to pass by an all-boys school. And <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let me, let's rephrase this. <laughs> if you don't see boys all day and you're a teenager, you kind of want to see boys. So I was not shy. I was the one that was like, we had candy sales. In Catholic schools, you were always selling something. Always. It wasn't candy bars. It was magazines. It wasn't magazines. It was wrapping paper. It wasn't wrapping paper. It was who knows what. So we had to sell these dollar candy bars. And um, so we I put a sign on the back of my shirt that said, Candy Doll, Candy Doll. <laughs> what did that come from? Candy bar, a dollar fundraiser. So I went on the bus and I um I walked backwards. The bus driver didn't like it. I usually I did not break rules, so I did that. <laughs> Anyhow, so I try to sell the candy bars. I would sell a box all the time. So anyhow, we also had um, school dances. So they would have school dances, I believe, there. I don't remember having them. Maybe we did have some in our school. But anyhow, they had school dance at their school. Now this I cannot remember, unless I have a mental block, that how did I get to go? First of all, we lived so close I could walk there. Because I would go watch them play basketball. I played basketball. I love basketball. So how did my mom let me go? And she's gone now. So I never thought to ask her. But I got to go to the dance. I don't know if she thought maybe it was. I don't know. She didn't let me go to roller skating parties at, you know, elementary school. My whole neck looks crooked from my body. I think it's the way I'm standing. But anyhow, um, we went to school dances. And it would be. Boys on the one side, girls on the other, girls yapping, and boys just standing there with their arms folded over their stomach, chest, whatever. And I'm like, hey, we had to pay to go, and you had to pay a lot because it was a Catholic school, and they always want money. So I'm like, I'm here to dance. I started dancing when I was three. So I would go over to the group of guys. I try to pull my friends with me, and they're like, oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. It's like, why do you spend all this time putting all this goop on your face? You know, they would put the, the you know, the foundation. and the, I, I would just put on some, um, what's it called, eyeshadow and a little blush or pinch of cheeks, as my mom said. Um, I didn't even remember mascara. But they would, you know, put the foundation and the da 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 you did all this and you're not going to dance maybe these people grew up to be the drinkers because when I found out when I used to go out dancing and boy do I got stories to tell you about that most people who I met there because my friends had all pretty much moved away or like I told you most of my friends are like old much older than me I did not realize but they are so 
I really didn't have people that went out dancing. The few people I had, they don't dance. But the people I met from going out dancing, uh, they were all drinkers. They didn't dance. So maybe the people that didn't dance turned out to be drinkers. Yep, because I know three of my friends that we used to hang out with at these dances. And they, we went out later. I tried to get them to go out like, you know, the summer before everyone goes away to college. Um, or me ran off to Arizona to go to college. And also with my husband-to-be, the first guy. But anyhow, um, we went out a couple of times. And, you know, come to think of it, they all were at the bar. And I was the one on the dance floor. But back to the high school. So we're at the All Boys High School, you know, we got to show our ID because we don't have the school ID because our school went with a boys' school, a girl with a boy and another girl with another boy. And if you weren't part of the other, I, I don't know what the whole politics was. Anyhow, this is where I could go. So I go over to the group of guys trying to get a friend. Nobody will come with me. I didn't care. I'm here to dance. Back then, though, I mean, girls would dance with girls. It's still nowadays when I used to go dancing, you know, women go out and dance with women. Um... But back then, I, I don't think that was a thing. I remember seeing old movies from, was it the 50s, maybe? The 50s is the only time I can think of. Um, why do I like the 50s? Their music or something? I don't know. I took a music course in college as elective, so I had to analyze the music. Maybe, but I don't know. I think in the 50s, oh, you know that movie? Grease, wasn't that from the 50s? Or I mean, it wasn't in the 50s, but wasn't it like showing... I don't know, I should have done some research. But anyhow, I went off on tangent. So anyhow, I went there to dance. And I, um, oh yeah, I was talking about girls just want to dance together in that period of time. So I went over and I would always get a boy. I'd, I'd just ask him, want to dance? they dance. And then I got this reputation of the girl that will say yes to dancing. I don't know where your brains are going. I wasn't that girl. Those were my friends. <laughs> Anyhow, let's keep it. No, we can keep it dirty because, right, this is not a kid-friendly channel. No. <laughs> Anyhow, so then as the time went on, and they only had the dances once a month, the guys would come over to me knowing that I would say yes. So I think it was a part of rejection. They were afraid they were going to get rejected. And the same thing happens when I used to go out dancing. Um, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm make that a whole other vlog. But I would, I would ask guys, you know, I'd stand there and, you know, I'm, I'm standing with my friends for a while because they drank. And they would come stand by the dance floor and watch me dance. And then, you know, they'd stand there and talk to some guys. And then, you know, i overhear the conversation. And they'd say, oh, I'm here to pick up a chick or a girl or I don't know, whatever they call them. And um, I would chime in and say the only way or not the only way, the best way to get a girl is to be on the dance floor. These girls like guys to dance. Number one, they can check you out. So I taught quite a few people to dance when I used to go out dancing. We'd go in the corner. I said, let's go in the corner. I used to teach dance at Arthur Murray's. Of course, that's a different type of dancing than they did in the clubs. But I could teach. There's not much to it. I mean, people were like, oh, I got left feet, two left feet. Or this is in, when I went out dancing as an adult. Two left feet. Or da 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 Or my hips don't move. Or whatever. And there was a song by, I can't say it. I don't know if I can say it. We don't get paid. But anyhow, there's a song about hips. I won't say anymore. I love that song because my hips move. They can't. I can move my hips. So the guys, for some reason, say they can't move their hips. So I taught them a little kind of, just to kind of move in a groove and thing. And some of them would go, some of them wouldn't. But the ones that went, they, they met women. So anyhow, back to the school dances. So I went there, had to save my money because I started working really early. I started babysitting age nine and a half. I had to save my own money to go. So I thought, I'm going, I'm dancing. Because if you wanted snacks, you had to pay money too. You had to pay for the... I know there wasn't soda. It was some kind of juice and chips. Oh, maybe they had pizza. Maybe they did have soda. I don't know. But anyhow, so I would always dance. I was the one who I started it always. I would go and do the dancing. And then we had the dances at our school. And I will continue that in another vlog. For now, don't forget to subscribe. Oops, like. Hit the notification bell. Share sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay it forward. It feels good in your heart. Call these tired in my heart. So for now. Bye, and look forward to more videos about my life. Bye.